Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is your match preview, another big one for you as our side Wolverhampton Wanderers travel to face a Tottenham Hotspur side desperate to qualify for Europe. So then, uh, loads packed into this one. Uh, as usual, we've got my dad on. I got to see him in person again on the doorstep. Hopefully see him inside next uh, week. Uh, we've got a great uh, looking at the odds with Leon from Ball Sports. And of course, you've got my match uh, team selection and my score prediction with the wonderful people over at Pitch Football App. So let's get stuck into it before we get on to all of that. Uh, Nuno's had his press conference today and these are the key points that have come out on it. He's basically uh, looked ahead to the team. He's going to said he's going to consider past and future workloads on the players when selecting his teams for the trip to face Tottenham. On the injury news in the camp, uh, he's got quite a bit of things to come back. He said, we've got some coming back, we've been able to join. Some are not inside because we have problems. It's always a situation and it's in the end of the season. So we have to be very careful with our decisions as we prepare. Uh, on Bolly and Marcel returning, he's talked about Bolly returning to the group. He's working in a normal situation. Still has some individual sessions to be able to go training sessions at the same level. But he's improved a lot. Marcel has joined us back for a couple of days. Um, obviously, he's been out with a, a long-term injury. Uh, we've talked about the scan on Raul Jimenez approaching. Uh, Nino said again, we have to wait. Be patient. The 18th is a very huge day to collect the information, to right, make the right steps moving forward. Cannot look much further than that. He's still not involved in all parts of the training sessions regarding contact, but we are very patient in the aspect. Um, it would be, as he said, a big joy for not only for him and his teammates, for the club, for the city and general football. It'd be a fantastic moment when he returns. He's talked also about the team spirit of, uh, of, of obviously, the club and the, and the team. He's very proud with the way they've managed their own problems, proud with the way they've committed themselves to solve, and have one of his favourite words, find solutions for those problems. Every day has been a challenge. Uh, and he says, I truly believe that relationship and the bond that the squad has um, is unique. It's very, very special and a big strength. He's had a little bit of a chat about uh, Triori's impact. Um, he says what we saw against Brighton uh, was the improvement of Adama, the ability to play in different spaces and do different things he wasn't doing before. We used to be using Adama wide, one versus one, but he was inside the box, made a fantastic combination and a one-touch finish in a striker. It's what we want Adama in different situations on the pitch. And he's looked ahead uh, to Tottenham uh, under their new manager, Mason. He said it's a very tough match. Tottenham squad's very good, full of quality. Of course, they changed their manager and every manager has different ideas. We analyse Tottenham now, but the quality of the squad and the players is going to be there. We will compete. Matching us against good teams is good for us. And I say it will be very interesting, will it not, to see what the team is that he comes out with. Uh, the team that I've gone for, I'm not sure whether he'll go with the back four again. I really don't know. He might do. But uh, I've gone with this team. Uh, Ruin goal, back three. Uh, Kilman, I'd like to see him start again. Cody, Saiz, maybe Bolly will drop in there. In the middle, uh, Neves, Matinho and Vitina. Outside, uh, Aitnori, I thought he's done really well lately. And Samedo again. And then Traore and Fabio Silva up front. Obviously, that could switch. We could see Morgan gives White come in there. We could see Otisoe as well. I'd still like to see uh, Corbano. I think William Jose, sadly, I think his time is up. But we'll have to wait and see. There's got a lot to... Uh, we've still got... We've got three matches in a week. This is the first one. Uh, so let's go and have a look at the, uh, at the match odds and a little bit of a chat um, surrounding the game with Leon at Bull Sports. Hey everyone, and it's great once again uh, to have Leon back from Ball Sports to look at the game and assess the odds ahead of this one. Hi Leon, how are you feeling? How are you doing, mate? I'm doing good, Dave. Look, it's been a good week. Wolves obviously got over their hoodoo against Brighton. Um, tremendous Traore coming off the bench, getting the equaliser, and then Gibbs White um, getting the winner, having missed the guilt-edged opportunity. But for a young guy to get a winner... In a game like that, will only 
will only help him moving forward. So all in all, a good week for Wolves. Yeah, absolutely. Gibbs White hasn't had many opportunities and um, he is a local lad, actually, born in an, in Stafford, just up the road uh, from Wolverhampton. And you could see just how much it meant to him at the final whistle, getting his first Premier League goal. He's been at Wolves since he was a young boy. Um, he's had issues, but it, I think for him, it was very emotional getting that first goal in the Premier League. Absolutely. And I think, you know, hometown lads, when they play for their hometown clubs, it just means that little bit more because they've grown up around the area. They know what it means to the people of the area um, in terms of their football club. So delighted for him and fair play to him because he did miss the sitter. I think it's fair to say, but to get the winner can only, can only really help him and fair play to Nuno in terms of putting out a very young, inexperienced team, but you might as well do it now. You've got to see what these young lads are about because Moving into the summer, when you're looking at your possible transfer targets, you've got to know, can you rely and depend upon some of these young guys going into next season? Well, yeah, I mean, actually, interesting stat, uh, Leon. It was the, apparently the second youngest ever Premier League side. Uh, and I thought maybe the youngest would be the, that Man United game that Alan Anson said you'd never win anything with kids. But apparently uh, the youngest ever was Middlesbrough, and I think in... Not, in in nine, 2012, going to say 1912, 2012. <laughs> but uh, well, look, I mean, but yeah, but Dave, that's good. I mean, Lily, you mentioned a couple of the young guys against West Brom in the Black Country Derby. They didn't bottle the challenge. They stood right up to it. And then you've got a couple of young lads who came in because he changed it up again for the game against Brighton. So Nuno was really giving these young guys a chance to put their arm up and say to Nuno, keep me in your plans. And... That's what it's all about. Whenever you're given a jersey, whenever you're given the opportunity to start a game for Wolves, you've got to make it count. I know it's extra pressure. I know it's a lot of, some people might say, well, how can you expect a young guy to just come in out of the cold and perform? But that's what the good ones do. That's what the ones who make their names do. They grab their opportunity with both hands. And certainly some of the young players for Wolves, in particular, over the last couple of games, they haven't let their gaffer down. They haven't made, and it's it, it's great to see. Any, and as you say, good to get that. Uh, who did our first ever top flight win over Brighton? Can you believe it? But looking ahead, um, another big game at the weekend uh, against a Tottenham side that have um, once to at one point topped the table, uh, got rid of their manager Mourinho. And the last game that I actually went to with a crowd um, away last season was Wolves' late three-two win at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. At that point, we were dreaming of Champions League. Then the lockdown hit. Tottenham got all their players back and Wolves just missed out on by a fraction of getting into Europe. That, in, in hindsight, I think that was a good thing. Um, what are you expecting ahead of this game, mate? I think it's going to be a tough game, Dave, um, if I'm being honest, because Harry Kane hasn't scored for a couple of games and that normally spells trouble because he <laughs> loves scoring... I mean, he normally loves scoring goals and he wants to score goals. But Spurs, they're so hit and miss at the moment. Um, they've got a struggle on their hands to finish in the top six to even try and get Europa League football. There's a big question mark about Harry Kane. Will he be there next season? In my own opinion, I think he's going to go um, because he wants to be playing Champions League football. He wants to be winning trophies. And any team that could afford Harry Kane and that could get him would only be stronger in doing so. So Wolves are big underdogs, five to one wow. to win. I'm away definitely from having home. something on that, mate. I'm definitely having so I've got a feeling in my bones about this one. I really have. So I'm gonna have a flutter on that five to one for sure. Yeah, look, I mean the draw is three to one, Spurs are odds on at eight to fifteen, but it's the first goal scorer market that look, it's no surprise. Harry Kane is favourite. He's eleven to four uh, to score the first goal in the game. Fabio Silva is the first name up for Wolves at 9-1. to one. Wow. Then you've got to go down a little bit more. Neves, 12s. Corbinu, 14s. I mean, even Vitor is a 16-1 to one chance. Morgan, Gibbs, White, 16-1. to one. So you're looking at Gibbs, White again. Could he score the first goal? Anytime he's a 5-1 to one chance. I like but that. I think Wolves would be... Could I say they would be happy with a draw? Away from home against Spurs, I think it would be a good result because 
I think Nuno's going to play a lot of the young guys again, but I just have a feeling Harry Kane, if you're looking at a first goal scorer, I think he's going to be well supported at 11 to 4. I think you're absolutely right, mate. And it's no surprise, obviously, Wolves are at first goal scorer at Lungard. So, I mean, let's face it, even against Brighton, we didn't score first. I mean, we just don't seem to score first. It's a no. crazy stat this year, to be honest. Um, well, but, I mean, you, know, you could pick a Wolves player, Dave, to score at any time, and you're getting a better price than a lot of the kind of Spurs players. Actually, you're getting a better price than Harry Kane, three to one silver. Anytime goal scorer. You're looking at Gibbs White anytime five to one, Padence five to one, Traore five to one. All these guys just to score at any time, not to score first, are an actual bigger price than Harry Kane is to get the first goal. So there is a bit of value there. Yeah. So um just um, to finish off on, I mean, what are you thinking in terms of the the number of goals for this week? Do you think it's going to be high scoring or low scoring? I think Spurs have got to go for it. Um, they've got to try and attack, Dave. They need to get wins. Um, I'm actually going to go both teams to score in this one. I think it will happen. That's just a little bit worse than even money. I do think Wolves, even though they don't score an awful lot, I do think they will be able to get at least one goal. And I think this is going to be a tough one for Wolves. I'm hoping for the draw. The draw is a three to one chance. But I think Spurs... They might just beat Wolves. They might just get over the line here. Maybe 2-1 to Spurs, if I can say that. I hope it's a one-all draw. We went for one-all against Brighton. I was happy we got that one wrong. We nearly got it right. This week, nearly a right again. Nearly, nearly got it right. But I just think Spurs, Dave, because they're under so much pressure to try and get some type of European football, they can only get Europa League. So I just think Spurs might edge this one. But I hope I'm wrong. No, you're absolutely spot on. Obviously, Wolves now safely in mid-table, experimenting a bit. Um, and, you know, at, at points against Brighton, we're all over the place. Much better second half. Um, and Tottenham desperate, as you say, to get the points, to get into Europe. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, plays out. Everyone, um, don't forget to check out in the description box below the absolutely top-notch stonking offer. Uh, throw yourself a tenner in there. And if you're a new customer, you do get £30 worth of free bets, which is a fantastic offer. And uh, the link is in the uh, the description below. As always, make sure you just bet what you can afford. Isn't that right? Absolutely, Dave. Have a little bit of fun. Um, only bet what you can afford to lose. And I think even some, you know, the little kind of first goal scorer bets or the anytime goal scorer, it gives you a great little bit of fun, but only bet always what you can afford to lose absolutely and that's brilliant and uh, me and leon are going to be busy over the next week because we've got another two games coming up so obviously uh, look forward to those as well uh, leon once again thanks for uh, for coming on the channel to talk about the latest starts from ball sports really appreciate your time mate anytime dave thank you very much pal and now it's time to go and speak to my dad on the doorstep and see what he's got for us this time so, hey, Dad, how are you doing? I'm fine, David, how are you? And what is this, your, little, what's that there? That's the donkey. The donkey? Yeah. Say his name? The donkey. The, the, the donkey or yeah. the donkey? The donkey, yeah. Uh, is he by any chance named after Leander? Yes, right, well, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're an idiot. I oh, know I am. Dad, the baggies are boing boing down. They've gone back uh, down to the championship. Yeah. Wolves. Uh, the young boys beat Brighton. He enjoyed that. What are you expecting for the game against Tottenham Hotspur at the weekend? Is it Tottenham Hotspur play? Yeah, Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, it's on my dad's team, that was. Oh, right, OK. Uh, um, we'll beat them 2 0. Yeah. 2 0. And who's scoring the goals, Dad? We have Torre. Torre, yeah. Torre, yeah. And we'll have. Uh, Come up with something original. Um, what's his name? Bonanza. You're going with Daniel uh, Bonanza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And do you have a song for all your, your fans this week? I don't know. Uh, don't love at me, cos I'm a fool. I know it's true. Yes, I'm a fool. No one seems to care. I give the world to share my life with someone. Who really loves me? 
I see them all falling in love. But my lucky star shines up above. Someday maybe the stars will shine on me. Don't laugh at me, cause I'm a fool. Absolutely brilliant. But Dad, you need new repertoire. You keep pulling out the same songs. You need to rehearse in something new for your new album. Yeah, All right, Dad. I love you lots. Always wolves. Always wolves, David. Loves you. Thanks ever so much to my dad. So to finish off on this one, obviously, um, you know, it's great to see some of these younger players uh, kicking along. And um, I'm going to go and be brave and I'm going to go for that 2-1 win to Wolves. As you, Leon said, 5-1 to one shot on the Ball Sports app. Um, Got to be worth a flutter for me, but I'm going to I'm going to stick with my 2-1. Um as you can see, and if you want to join my uh, Pitch Football League, there's the code. Get on that app and download it. It's free and join me on the uh, the league ready for next season. But, of course, uh, we also want you to join me on uh, the Watch Along, which will start 20 minutes before the game. And then me and Amy will be live with loads of other fans on extra time from half past eight. Uh, following the match so if you want to get on that please message the always walls facebook page and i hope you smash a like to this video don't forget to leave your thoughts ahead of this game in the comment section below what's your score prediction um and what's your lineup until then i'm dazzling dave always walls <laughs>